Hi guys, welcome back to my tiny studio. So today I'm going to talk to you specifically about the punch needle tool. There are a few things to consider before purchasing one and I want to help you make an informed decision. So I've uh, come up with seven different things to consider. I've got quite a collection of punch needles at home as you can see right here and I will discuss all of them. A few of these I have in my shop. These are obviously my favorite ones and you can find them through the link in my description box. Let me quickly introduce the needles that I will be talking about. So I'll be talking about the Oxford punch needles. They come in a variety of sizes ranging from chunky yarns to finer yarns and also the loop height can be made in different sizes. For each individual need you will need a separate needle. I will also be talking about the laver punch needles. There's one for chunky yarns and one for finer yarns. They are made with recycled plastic handles and they are both adjustable. Which means you can make a variety of loop heights. They come with a metal wire to thread the needles with the yarn. Lastly, I will be talking about the needles from Rico Design. There's one for chunky yarns and there's one for embroidery floss or smaller even. They come with a threader metal wire and they are both adjustable in length. So you can make loops of different heights. First of all, let's talk about topic number one. When punching, you have to decide, of course, which kind of yarn you would like to use. And I think also this depends on what kind of project you want to make. So for example, if you want to make a pillow like this one, then you might want to use chunky yarn because then you get a lot of texture. You're finished earlier because it's quite a big surface. And for that, you're going to use chunky yarns. The ones I used for this pillow is for example the oxford one the oxford comes in two different sizes regular or fine and this is the regular one and the regular one is suitable for chunky yarn like this then you have the adjustable punch needle this one also has a large hollow needle and that makes it suitable for chunky yarn as well and this one is from rico design and that one is also suitable for chunky yarns but a little less chunky than the ones I showed you previously. If you want to make finer details, not that much detail, but if you want to make some kind of illustrations, then you can work uh, with these kind of yarns, medium yarns. And for example, I have this cotton yarn right here, or you could use this one, it's from Alice Uruguay. I've showed you this one before because I really love working with it. And I can also show you this piece that I'm working on. It's got some lovely details. If you want to work with that, then you might want to get the laver punch needle, which comes in a pack like this. It has three different size needles and the largest one is suitable for the medium sized yarns that I just showed you. Or you could work with the fine Oxford needle. That one is suitable for sport weight yarn. And then you could even work with embroidery floss, these tiny threads, yes. So you can use the laver needle for it. You would use the smallest one that is available in the pack. Or you could use, for example, this one from Rico Design. Uh, this one also comes with three different size needles which you can see right here, and they can be used for embroidery floss, or you could even split the strands from the floss and use it with a few strands, which makes it even uh, smaller. Then you can get pieces like this. I've made one with embroidery floss. I prefer using with a bit larger yarns, but you can see you can make lovely uh, details and go even further, I think, with the detailing part. Let's go on to the next topic.
which is adjustability. Yes, you can adjust a lot of the needles out there by now. And why would you want to adjust? Well, if you look at this pillow, for example, I've made different areas with different loop heights. So these are quite low, then you go up a bit, and even here you go up much more. And you could also see it in the medium-sized yarn. So there I've made the middle part quite high and the other ones are quite low. So for that you would need a needle that you can adjust. So for example with the laver punch needle you could turn the wheel, pull it up and then you get a longer needle and with a longer needle you can make longer loops. The same goes for the other one from laver. This one has seven different slots so you can uh, adjust the height of the needle by clicking it in a slot and then you get this height. If you want to make smaller loops you can get this height for example. And the same goes for this one. You can adjust it by moving the needle like this and it can make really quite large loops. And when it comes to the Oxford needles these are not adjustable. So these are fixed but they have different sizes available. So for example, this one, which is for the chunky yarn, the regular needle, is a size 10. And this one, which is for the finer needle, finer yarns, size fine, uh, this one is a size 8. And as you can see, the length of the needles is different. So that's how you can make different size loops, but then you would need more than one needle. And here, this is size 14, is even tinier. If we are going to the next subject, which is the material it's made of. The Oxford needles are by far the most beautifully made. This is made from a beautiful maple wood and it's very sustainable. So uh, I really love these needles. These from Laver are made from recycled plastic. So they are made from plastic, but it's recycled. So that's really thinking about, thinking about the environment. And the ones from Rico Design and also a lot of others. You see one that's on Amazon a lot. Um, the light blue one is also from this really uh, cheap plastic in my opinion. So if you are thinking about the environment, this is not the way to go in my opinion. And that brings us to the next subject, which is durability and quality. If you're thinking about material, then the Oxford needle is, is really the best out there. These are made to last you a lifetime, made from the best materials and they are really strong and put together very well. And then if you think about these, these are not going to last you a lifetime, but they are pretty good. I think they are really good quality and you can see it by how it's made. It's, it's, these are nice needles, but they won't last you a lifetime. And then if you come back to these, I haven't worked with these a lot. I can't tell you really how fast they uh, will break or anything, but I'm, I'm sure they won't last super long. And that brings us to cost. I think it's fairly obvious which one would be the cheapest and which one would be the most expensive. So these are the cheapest and uh, that's also why I think these would be suitable if you are thinking just to try it out. You know, you don't really want to uh, you don't think this is going to be a lifelong or long-term hobby and you think that you just want to try it out, you're curious, then these cheaper needles are fine. Even though I think, well, if you're thinking about the environment, then it's not really the best way to go. These are medium price. These are about 16 euros each. They will last you quite a bit, so I think they are a really good price for the product you're going to get and then of course the best one out there is also the most expensive so these are about 40 euros at the moment thing is with these is that you would need more than one if you want to get 
the different loop heights like I talked about. So if you want to get several sizes, then you would have to pay 40 euros for each and that can get quite expensive. But they will last a lifetime, so that's also th something to consider. When I'm talking about how comfortable they are, so the other day I got one sent back from a customer saying that this laver punch needle, which is quite small, was too small for her uh, big hands. And I can understand that. So this is quite a small tool and um, I find it kind of nice to work with. But I can imagine that for some people this is not really comfortable. It's a, It's got a curve and it's nice, the, the material is nice to hold, it's fine. But there are other needles out there that are more suitable for bigger hands, maybe. If you look at this one, which is also for these smaller yarns, this one has got quite a grip. It even has a rubber on it so that you uh, can hold it really well. If you go to the chunkier ones, then this one has a nice shape. You can hold it, but it's still uh, quite small. So something to think about and then you have the oxford needle they are made to be very comfortable as you see uh, they lay perfectly in your hand they are made of beautiful wood which feels comfortable so when i'm working on a big piece then i prefer working with the oxford needle over uh, these needles and now for the last subject which is threading a needle. Threading your needles can be a bit of a hassle, especially if you want to make a piece with a lot of different uh, yarns, different colors, then you have to thread the needle over and over again. So if that's something that's going easily, then I think that's important to, to consider. So most needles come with a threader. So these come with a metal wire like this, um, taped together with a little piece of tape at the top. These work perfectly, but my experience was that this tape comes loose really, really like in one day. For the uh, laver punch needles, they both come with a metal wire as well. You would have to make it fold it yourself even. It works, it's not the best, let's be honest. And then we have the Oxford needles. They all have a channel going through them and that's why you don't need a threader. You can just thread it like this and it's super easy. So you put through the yarn through uh, the tip like this and then pull it in the channel and you're done. So that's super easy. So when we want to sum up all the reasons then you've got a few things to consider is the cost most important is the durability most important do you care about the environment and the materials that it's made of do you want it to be adjustable or not so there are a few pros for every needles as well as some cons so it's up to you what you think is most important and what is suitable for you in my opinion so if you want to ask uh, what's my favorite then I would say my favorite are the Oxford needles because they are most comfortable but I also really like to use this set so with this set you get every possible thing you want so you have the chunky yarn and the finer ends you have adjustability and you can make basically everything you want with it. So I hope this video helped uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions if you want to get those needles, so I don't have, carry the Rico design ones, but I do have the Laver Punch needles and the Oxford needles in my shop. Uh, if you go to the link below, then you can uh, purchase yours. So let me know in the comments what you think, and I hope to see you next time.